Hello guys, Neopoly Times here, welcome to a new video and in this video I'm gonna try to help you decide whether you should buy the Nike Plus or the regular Apple Watch. So the first thing we need to consider is that the Nike Plus is made for athletes, just like they say in the box. However, if you are not an athlete, you can have it too, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> because it is for athletes, there is uh, the Nike Run Club app which is installed by default on the Apple Watch and you will be asked when you set it up if you want to install it or not. Because of that uh, app, you also have some watch faces which are exclusive. Both of them include a complication that takes you straight into the Run Club app, however they do not allow any other customization rather than the color. The other big difference is the bands. There are two Nike Plus bands which are the Sport Loop and the Nike Plus regular sports band which has a lot of holes. The sports band are sold separately, however with the Series 4 Apple introduced some reflective bands that are only available uh, if you buy the Apple Watch. The models sold separately are not reflective and that's especially handy when you're running as it will reflect the light, especially if you're running in, in dark situations, either before sunrise or after sunset. Also, if you like any of those bands, you can save yourself some cash by buying them directly with your watch, so you don't have to buy them separately. And the best thing about the Apple Watch Nike Plus is that all of this I just said is just at the same price as the regular aluminum Apple Watch. My personal advice is that if you're thinking of buying an Apple Watch in aluminum, you'll go for the Nike Plus, because you get all of these new features and yeah, the price is the same, so you get more for the same what is the bad news? So yeah, what you can do is what I did, that's check for the availability. In my case I wanted the 44mm in space grey with the sport loop and it was sold out worldwide. However, when Nike Plus came out it was just in stock to pick up in my Apple store and I went and picked it up and I got pretty much everything I wanted plus that exclusive um, reflective band which is really 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 cool and just for the same price. Also, if you're not too much into running, there's no problem. You can ignore those notifications and even don't install that app. However, if you like any specific sports band better and you don't like any of the Nike Plus one, I recommend you get that watch. And of course, if you are not uh, are into running, I recommend you get that watch with that band because yeah, you will save yourself some bucks. And with this one you will get a band that if you don't like it, it's, it's nonsense. But yeah, that's basically my opinion by having become from the original Apple Watch to the Apple Watch Series 4 in Nike Plus edition. So yeah, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you don't? Did you take anything else into account when choosing your Apple Watch between the Nike Plus and the regular one? Please let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments as well and I will do my best to answer. If you like this video please thumbs up and subscribe down below for more Apple related content coming every week. Finally, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with everything I post and be able to vote on polls on one content I post. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.